Okay, if we're going to use this wheel on the drawbar, I'm going to need to make a uh, an insert here for the threading onto the bar. Because uh, to clean this bore up, it took a greater diameter than what my bar is. So this is kind of a rough drawing of what I want to put in here. The flanged bushing, I guess you would call that. So we'll get a uh, center drill in here. Make sure this chuck is tight. Color's a little off. And the jar is about full.
Yeah, that's um, that's pretty violent. Okay, let's see what we got here. We are at 1.108. 108. Well, we see if we have enough battery to hit this hundred thousandths. subscribe to those channels I rang the bell to be alerted when their new videos come out and uh, and I look forward to the new videos just as much as I would look forward to outside screwball releasing a video or poppy's uh, poppy you know many of you guys that also have channels well I'm getting ready to cut some threads but I'm not gonna make a big production out of that because that's one thing you've seen me do is cut threads well I'm not sure I want to admit what I was doing wrong there but when you're doing internal threading you turn this dial in a negative and that's what I was doing I was continually pulling the tool away from the work instead of advancing it. So let me give you a new seat here. And I seem to be, um, so here's 30 thousandths. seem to be having the clanging problem so I'm gonna slow the thing all the way down put it in gear and then bring it up I'm real close, I think, to having a thread form. I don't have anything to try this. Yes, I do. Okay, we're gonna do um, well. 
going to do, um, 20 thousandths this time. And... What else was I going to do? Didn't have my zero. I think I got it this time. Nice sharp peaks. I'm afraid to let the half nut go, but I'm not going to be able to be in the same spot. But man, I feel like that is a good, good thread. It fits all the, I know it doesn't matter, but it fits all the way into that gauge. That is funny, thin. Now, I have this practice piece of aluminum that has some threads in it, but can't quite get there to thread onto that. And they're not great threads either. But they are, well, we don't even know if they're the right diameter, so never mind. But I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna dress up See if I can get this picture to come back. I'm going to dress this up a little bit. And maybe here, but man, I like that. I'm going to get the thread wires out because I might as well learn to use them. Man, I like that. So here goes the half nut. There's that. 
going to give that a, a light file. a little out of hand wasn't it probably make great video though and that's a hot that's a hot one too that is a hot uh, procedure Wow, that's hot. I think that's like heat treated hot. Get that off of there. So, there we go. Now, 
I'd like to clean it up a little more. But I gotta take a pretty good bite to get it as clean as I want it. And I fucked up. I fucked my clutch up. Locked up my clutch. Well, I was going to say I got a whole bunch done unexpectedly, but yeah, in a way I did, but all I did was cut the threads. But as far as where everything is going to lay, measurements wise, um, I've just been kind of guesstimating. And I was able to install the number 13 Jarno taper collet holder into my spindle. Uh, I was able to thread my drawbar on and uh, why that's such a feat is because I was able to do that with the chuck still mounted. So I was able to go into my chuck and install that jar that that taper with the and the draw bar is uh, is engaged with the collet and I'm not sure what you're seeing if this button will work so here's the other end of my draw bar And so the collar goes on. I'm going to put a flanged bushing in here and then thread it to go over here. Tighten up on that, pushing that, pulling the drawbar out, and then work out like some kind of jam nut on the back here. So I ordered an internal some some internal threading uh inserts in a in a holder and you know i really didn't realize that uh, with all the boring bars i have i probably already have the holder but nonetheless um i should have uh an internal uh, threading tool tomorrow so in the meantime i just need to make uh the flange bushing for this and then determine what size I need to make that. Let me get my measurement on this. Let's see if we're at zero. Yeah, we are. So. One twenty five three, one point two fifty three. That ought to be a pretty easy one to look up. And that says fifty five. Let's measure it again. Well, it's actually one two fifty there. So one inch and a quarter. How did that work out? I might be able to figure that one out all by myself. Okay, let's uh, put things where they go. I need to get a piece of material to uh, do that um, that flared that flanged bushing. And I was thinking about maybe a piece of copper which I have a lot of I need to look through here and I there's my I, I have threaded copper before so I should be able to do it again and if it doesn't work out I can knock that flange out and try another one so maybe I will use copper what do you think about that wonder if this will make a nice jam nut. Is that big enough for a jam nut? Nope, not quite. Of course, 
you know, I'm not jamming on that diameter anyway. So what else do I have for materials here? And those diameters, I got them steel from hell. I got the 1045. And I got this piece the camera is mounted to. Let me get it off of here. Here's a piece of uh, D2. What else do I have in here? Yeah, that's all stuff for if I ever run a mill. I guess I should have saved some brass to make my uh, my bushing. couple of knockers there this one keeps getting smaller and smaller in diameter this is all many lathe projects here let's look at some many lathe projects here oh. Okay, there's a, I think that was on the big lathe. And this was mini lathe. It's the eccentric that does nothing. And this was mini lathe. Big thread on that. Oh, this was mini lathe. Come on now. Well, that comes out. This was mini lathe. Just kind of doesn't do anything. Butt plug. Machinist jack, booster, machinist jack. Okay, let's try uh, one more box of mini lathe projects. Okay, this was a mini lathe project. This was that's what I need right there for what you call it. There's another uh yeah, I'm just kind of obsessed with cutting threads, aren't I? I did that. There's just some different thread forms and there's a piece of the uh, that was round when I started. No, that was a filing exercise. That's a future lamp, maybe. We need to find a lampshade for that. It's kind of modern, isn't it? Let's set that over here. We'll find a lampshade. There's another possible lamp. This was uh, kind of testing out my uh, tool post drill. It was just some hard ass steel I managed to machine. Oh.